What do you think? That's totally out of this world. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> We got the all new season three Treasure X Alien dissection kits. And these are cool looking guys because you've got green. Well, they're pretty much the same as season one. I mean, you've got your green. Let me see, you got blue and then you got orange. Well, I think this is orange. And in season one, I think it was more red, red, orange, yellow. Well, let's take a look. Let's do a recap in season one. Yay, here they come. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Cool. So now we've got our, and this was red and orange. It's hard to see with this green film. And then we've got uh, our blue and green. And so they're the same colors here as you see here, but probably the only difference is, is, you know, you can see it right there, probably that he's more orange than him. Again, these films that they have on with the green and the blue, it's hard to tell, but isn't this cool guys? I mean, you can see the difference between season one and season three. You got the little canister top that you store your ooze in. We'll go through all that. And um, as compared to the flying saucer that's down below, which by the way, we're going to do a review on uh, season one coming soon. Now, my question is, this is season one. This is season three. Where is season two? Good question. So let's go ahead and move these guys over to the sides. So there's season one and season three. So we got to make way for season two here. Okay, there we go. So season two is going to go right here. Where's season two? Come on over. Yes, we have our little hatchlings, our eggs. Yay! We got Treasure X eggs. These are the little, as I would refer to as the mini beasts. So you got your mini beasts, then you have your hunters. Well, the hunters are inside these uh, aliens here. And so what about the big beasts? I mean, if you're familiar with Treasure X, they usually have mini beasts, and then they have hunters, and then they have the big beasts. So we got season one, two, three, and yes, they have season four. Now here's your beast. <laughs> I'll have to bring him in over here and eclipse our season three. But man, what a beast. Look at this. Wow, that's gonna be some serious cuttage. In fact, this is called the ultimate dissection kit. So when you're looking for Treasure X aliens for your keywords, you'll have your aliens. And they may not see season one, so you may have to do a little bit more um, keyword searching. This one's the ultimate dissection kit. It is season four. And this one may not say season three. These are eggs, so there's your keywords. That's easy to, to type in, you know, your eggs. And you get these little guys inside. So watch our, our video on these alien eggs. They're super cool. There's so much you can do with these guys. And I got a second video coming out that will reveal a lot of cool things about these guys. We already have the first one, but we found out some more cool stuff. And then there's your season three. So let's go ahead and move these guys to the side and watch our videos on these. We'll have more to come even on, I can't wait to crack him open. He's gonna be so cool. So let's move him off to the side and let's start with these. Okay, so let's go over just one and we'll go with the blue guy here. Okay, so looking at this, let's go from top to bottom. Up at the top, you have the canister. Oh, look, you got a little hangy thing. So if you wanna put that on your ceiling, have it hanging from the ceiling, Ooh, that'd be kind of creepy. You got out the front, you got your, you can see right through them. In fact, if I do this, here we go. Shine a flashlight. Does that look super cool? We tried that, that's awesome. So there's the blue dude inside a blue canister. And how about if we just do it for the green too? You know, he's right there, why not? Oh man, I think he's one of my favorites. He's got that mask where you can't see me, you can't tell what I'm thinking or feeling. <laughs> well, we'll open you up and see who's inside you. And then finally, the last one, our orange dude. Pretty cool guys, I like it. So you got the canister, you can store the ooze inside. We'll get to the ooze. And then just looking at the uh, labels around, you got your Treasure X aliens here. And then down below, you've got dissect the aliens. And then over here to the side, save me, I'm inside an alien. So inside the alien, you're gonna have a hunter that you have to rescue. And then let's go over to the side. Will you find real gems? And below that, discover treasure hunter, weapon, critter, atomic ooze, ooze. Oh, that's gonna be, should we be playing with atomic ooze? That's pretty uh, scary. And then we got alien treasure. And you can see it right here also, that's really cool. It's got new glow in the dark ooze. Well, that's pretty cool. I wanna see this stuff glow in the dark and kind of like do a potato toss, you know, throw that glow in the dark thing around. So we got our cutter tool in the back and, oh, and it says right there, it's an ooze container, but it also has at the back, it says uh, peel here. So you got these perforations. You could probably take your fingernail and just start ripping at it to tear it down. But before you do that, I forgot on the bottom. 
So we have our 12 levels of adventure fun. Number one, rip it off the plastic that's around the container here. Number two, and discover your mission. Number three, get the tool, the cutter tool. And then number four, you're gonna release the alien from the canister. Number five, get the map. And then number six, dissect the alien. <laughs> so number seven, rescue. And then number eight, you'll get a treasure. So is it gonna be the real gem or are you gonna find some common treasure? Number nine, there's a critter keeping them company inside. Number 10, ooze. Number 11, play. And then number 12, you can storm back in his container along with the ooze. Cool, let's get started. And okay, so peel here and you're just gonna start peeling. Okay, just. <laughs> it's like, hey, happy new year, confetti. And if it doesn't get it all off, you still have preparations down here. You can dig with your fingernail and just keep pulling it all off. And then on the back, we got our tool. Let's, of course, take, oh, it's taped down. Okay, so let's take off the tape and then take off our tool. I mean, look at that. It's blue. It's got the cutting sides. You can go ahead and cut through the alien dissect. You got this kind of harpoon shape, so you can kind of get it in there, the little Sharpie point, but not too sharp. And then you got your tweezers, so after you cut through the alien, you can grab your uh, specimen out or the hunter. So, you know, if you're not brave enough to grab them with your own fingers. Now we got our tool. Let's go ahead and release them. To release them, just go ahead and take the top of the canister, twist, and pull. Oh, look at him. He's just hanging there like he's in some store ready to be bought. Hey, come home with me, Mr. Alien. <laughs> so you see these little hooks right there? You got these little hooks and you got the plastic that you just have to kind of like lift off the hooks. See those little holes right there? So those little holes can come back on the hooks so you can hook them back in there and then you can just hang in there. So after you're done cutting and opening them up, you can put, you save the plastic, put them back in here, and then you can display them back into, and you have to put it in the right way because there's like edges here. So there's edges that you, he'll slide down into. Well, it looks like those edges right there because, you know, you got your sharp side here, it bulges out a little bit. So just keep, you know, turning it until you find those edges and then it slides in and then you can twist it. So it locks in so, you know, you can hang out. I mean, cool, you can just storm right back in there. So that's awesome. Twist, pull, he's out pull them off because we're too excited to hurry and open them up. But man, this guy looks so cool. I love the clear blueness of him. In fact, let's get him out of here. So you'll have to just pull it open. And then let's just take a look at him for a minute. I mean, that is so cool. So maybe we can do it uh, one more time here. See what it looks like here. I mean, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> a little earthling, you can't escape me. Well, Right now we're gonna dissect you. So we got a couple of things that says where to cut. You're gonna cut around his belly if you're new to Treasure X, the aliens. And you can cut the entire uh, belly off here, but I recommend just cutting just a portion of it so you can just flap it open, flap it shut, you know, so at least the uh, part of the belly's still there. It's up to you. So it says cut there, you get that little tag. So we can pull that off, we don't need that. I mean, look at his tongue. <laughs> he just, he's such a cool looking alien. Oh, he loves me. And then on the back, you got the, the steps of what you're gonna do with his head. Feel his head and squeeze the ooze out of his head. Okay, so we'll pull that off. Of course, you can pull, <laughs> you can pull his head off. And so, uh, there you go. Uh, and there's, there's where the paper was attached to, just a ring to put him on there so the paper didn't slide off. And so, with this, you can just go ahead and, you know, pop off the bottom and put the ooze in there super cool and then put it in there and squeeze it we'll do that in just a minute i get ahead of myself <laughs> head okay here's where we're at we gotta cut this open right i mean i love the colors on this purple blue green it says the aliens in fashion it must be the things that he eats that keep him in such great shape and a good style of color so let's go ahead and dissect right now okay forceps pinky <laughs> So there we go, I'm just gonna take the poker side and you'll notice up at the top, you got these two already incisions, holes as it were, right in there. So if you just wanna start at the top, get it in there. Oh boy, excuse me for a minute. I'm just gonna have to turn it this way so I can, so you know, I'm cutting down like this. Oh boy. I'm starting down this side, going down here and then going on the other side and cutting. It's just easier this way. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you see I didn't cut the top. So that way I can just flip it open and then just close it again. And so I like it. I like leaving the extra flap there. So hey, it's like dissecting frogs. And then you've got his rib cage that you can easily pull out. And you can see it's got like two little prongs there. You can just go ahead and 
stick it back up in there if you want to keep his rib cage for whatever reason. And then it's like, hey, you know, he's still there. So it's up to you. You don't have to throw the rib cage away. And then there's the packet of ooze, atomic ooze. I mean, you can go ahead at this point, just, you know, do your fun, like, surgical. <laughs> Come back to life! We got to save him. And there we go. See, so I already uh, punctured through it. And if you didn't puncture through it, then you got these little um, indents up at the top. You can just, you know, pinch and pull and... Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, and you know what? We're missing one thing before we got into this. You know what I think we're missing? A map. I better not let you guys see this. Okay, go look somewhere else. We gotta find the map. Where's the map? I missed the map. It's at the bottom here. Well, speaking of which, can I actually pull this off? I mean, why not? There's the tape. So, hey, maybe I could just take the tape and just peel it off. I mean, okay, the map's not coming. You gotta take the bottom off if you want the map because you can see the plastic down in there. It's preventing me from doing it. So what I need to do is this, the tape here is taping this. Uh, it's got this and I think this will, oh, there we go. Okay, so you see the plastic? Okay, there's the map down there, but the plastic, I couldn't like dump it out this way because that was there. So cool, now we have our map. Okay, now we know what we're looking for, but hey, if you want a surprise, don't even look for this. So you have two sides to the map. You have on this side what has the instructions up at the top of what you're gonna be doing, like we did at the bottom that we just covered, but hey, it's in black and white. And then down below that, you have the name of the aliens, and you can see you've got, those are cool looking aliens. And then below that, so now that we got the names of them, that's cool, Drooplop, Star Slop, and Slitzog. You've got the collector's guide, and you can see, how many collectors do we have? 12. You see we've got a total of 12 collectors. And what's cool about this one that I really like as far as the collectors go is that you've got three of them that are super rare and two that are rare. And not only are they rare and super rare, but they actually have a function. So first of all, let's go over the, the normal guys that, hey, they're still pretty cool. The Face Force, you got a group of those there that actually look like they have helmets. And then you got the mech mechanics. So it looks like you got a little teeny tiny dude inside of a, a big mechanical body. Then you've got the rare acid knots. Now these are cool guys, they're all in red. And it says here that water squirts. So if you look at their noses, and one guy's got a head, that you can actually pick up the water and squirt it. And then the super rare, they have sticky suckers. Now what in the world is that? And maybe it's something that you licked and it's a very sticky sucker. So it says down at the bottom, it sucks up water and for these guys, uh, sticks to the smooth surfaces. Awesome. And then you've got your, your general critters, critter one, critter two, critter three. Before we go ahead and close out of this, it says down at the bottom, you've got the warning down there, but it gives you more details about what you can expect. Of course, with any of this stuff, with ooze, with slime, whatever you're playing with, wash your hands and it can stain. There's the warning, but what I'm looking at after that is that each color alien sack has four variations. So remember we talked about our blue, and then we had our orange, and we also have our green. So each one of these has four different variations of the collector's guide of these uh, hunters that are inside. Now there's one in each 12 pack will have a real gem. And with this one, one in 12, well, they didn't come in cases. Now let's talk about this side, the mission. And the mission objective is galactic treasure hunters have been eaten by aliens during the search for powerful gems, the most valuable treasure in the universe. Dissect the alien, save the treasure hunter, and discover their amazing power treasures from around the galaxy. Question is, is will you find a real gem treasure? Now we know there's one in 12, but even so, even if you don't get the real gem, you'll notice that what's cool to season three is that the real gem comes at a power level of five, the maximum power that you can get. So if you don't get the gem, you still got power, <laughs> as it were. Because the next closest to it is the uh, treasure, power payload. That's got a power level of four. You go down to Taser Talon, which is three, and then Ballistic Blowtorch. <laughs> that sounds cool, totally ballistic. And that's a two power level. And then you got Cyber Zooka. Wah, wah, wah. You barely got enough to get out of the uh, galaxy with the power level one. So let's go ahead and start opening this up and see what, what we got. Now back to our hunter. We opened up the package. We got the alien ooze. Let's get this out of the way. Who is this guy? He, oh man, he looks cool. He looks like, um, what's up with all these suckers? He looks like an octopus. You see all those suckers? Octopus on the back. And he looks like an owl on the front. He's got that shape of an owl face with the beak. Right, right, right. And these suckers, they really like suck. Here, let's try this. Oh, they do! <laughs> they suck! Oh, man. You gotta watch our alien eggs video where we do the suck face. That is cool. 
I like it. Hey, his suckers are so powerful, he just needs one. I was trying to do the rest, but why? <laughs> That's how he scales buildings. That is so cool. I love this guy. He really sucks. That's so cool. That is awesome. But who is he? I mean, did I get a rare, ultra rare? The reds are rares. Um, who did I get? Oh, no way. I got a super rare worm warrior. This guy is Sting Slap. <laughs> that is cool. And you know what? It says that Sting Slap, he uh, sticks to smooth surfaces. Well, okay. Now I know. Okay. He sticks. If I get him something like in there that's a little bit moist, let's see if we can just slick it up. No, I don't want to lick it. Well, the other one was like very sticky. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Well, there. <laughs> He's not upside down now. Thank you for saving me. You know, people, they have metal boots and stuff. They cling to the spaceship when they're in outer space. He just sucks too. <laughs> he, just, he just goes across when he's outside in space. Do, do, do. But if he ever loses his wetness, he's out. I didn't drink enough water. He's out there. So. That is so cool. I got, dude, it's a super rare. First one. Woo. Oh, yeah, here you go. So you get some stuff that comes with them. You know, uh, let's see what he gets. Uh, he's got his his sucky weapon. Uh, here, I guess that goes in his right hand. That's so cool. Oh, look at that. So wh what, do you, what do you think his weapon does? Does it just suck? Does <laughs> he just come at you and go, you're in a fight and stuff, and he's like, Nyeh! and he just like drains you of all in her. Oh. You know, I don't know what this weapon does. I wish there was more details, but I guess imagination is the limit, so we'll go with that. All right, we might as well use the tweezers, finish the rest of this, unless you don't want to touch the ooze. But you have the critter in... Ugh, uh, this is just hard operation. It's so unreal. Paid advertising. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm just a little... I get the munchies when I do this. Hey, look at that. The colors go well with him. Oh my goodness, this just worked out so well. We'll edit this out. Okay, so there's Critter. Did I get Critter 1, crit Critter 2, Critter 3? Reminds me of Star Trek, you know, back those old shows. You had the same people that would beam down, and they always had one or two extra guys that got shot because you can't kill the main characters. If you did that, you lose the whole show. <laughs> so it's just enough to entertain you. So I got Critter 1. Now let's see what happens if... Oh, he's a creepy, creepy, crawly critter. <laughs> so cool. That's one of those things you just throw against the wall and just have him come down. Mom, look. Ah! I love it. That's awesome. So this critter, critter does have some useful purpose. <laughs> Besides just being the henchman on him, just on his shoulder. Yeah, blast him, blast him. <laughs> now we got to find out what we got, guys. Can remember, we got our different power things that we I mean, I want the gem, so I got the full power. So it's still in here. Did I get the gem? Did I get the a tank? So you can see you got like tear along the, the dotted line, right? So you got to run over it. You got to tear. So we just pinch and pull and... Oh, what was this? Oh, okay. I didn't get the lowest Cyberzooka. Phew. <laughs> That's a power one. That can get you out of the galaxy. But this one is a ballistic blowtorch. <laughs> it blows. <laughs> that is so cool. So this blowtorch here, let me show you. That is so cool looking. I love the blowtorch. So that gives me power level two. So when it comes to fighting, it's supposed to power up your weapon. Out of all of this, you see this little kind of like rectangle side here? That rectangle side goes into the weapon. And the weapon, you see that little hole there? So you're gonna take your power and put it in there. Oh, oh we gotta put it the right way. Look at that. So now you got power at a two. So, you know, you can imagine with power one, if he like used this weapon to suck you here. <laughs> oh, you don't have enough power. Well, this is a power two. Okay. <laughs> so if you had the gym, you could totally just drain and just read their thoughts. That's what it is. It's a thought reader. It can tell exactly what you're thinking, what you thought, what you're going to think, <laughs> and everything. So that's pretty cool. I like that. So sweet, guys. Super rare worm warrior. Now I just have three more to collect. So now that we got that, we've got our atomic ooze. And oh, that's just jiggly and it's kind of bouncy. 
and stretchy. Now it's supposed to go in the dark, so we better figure that one out. I mean, you can, you know, pull off the bottom of his head because you're supposed to stick it in there, squeeze it out, right? That's fun. But before we do that, how about if we just charge it up and take a look at it here and just have it see what it looks like. It goes in the dark here and then we'll put it inside of him and then just have it glow in the dark there. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that. Does that not look like it's atomic? <laughs> Because the flashlight's still on, see, so it's not glowing. I mean, if that was glowing, whoa, I'd be out of here because that is not safe. It's toxic. So here we go. In three, two, one. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so we'll, we'll open him up. We're going to put him inside and then push it in, shove it in, way in. There we go. It's all in his head. We can go ahead and close it up. Then let's charge his head. Okay, and let's do the front. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> I like to boogie. Hey, let's play alien egg toss. Okay, well, that's what we did in the dark. And so, you know, just in here in the daylight. And you can squeeze him here, too, if you're afraid of the glow in the dark stuff. Uh, all of his cavities are coming out of. Oh, that is that is cool looking. <laughs> his tongue would be helpful if he could suck it back up, but that's just the way it goes. Anyways, that's awesome. Cool. So then when you're done with the ooze, then you can go ahead and just rip it out of his noodle. So then this is where this comes in. So what you can do is you can see right here it says ooze container. Just take your finger and, okay, pull it off both fingers on both ends, pop it, and then you've got this, so you can go ahead and stick, stuff it in there. Uh, I guess you don't need the sticker. And then just, you know, put it the right way and stick it on, and hey, you got your own uh, on-the-go alien container. So what you can do is you can take this, put it back here, and then if you save the plastic container, put it back inside, Go to grandma's house, you know, to show, you know, show and tell, show grandma, you know, the weird things that we now kids get into this day. Oh, I don't remember that in my day. You know, these are like, <laughs> they're cool of the colors. And so then you can go ahead and then just got these hooks again, remember? So you can just hook them back on with these holes that are there. You hook them for your display. Now he's hooked, just like a fishy. Bzz, got him. And then you can just go ahead and take your container and just slide them back inside. And you're supposed to twist it and lock it. Maybe it went the wrong way. Let's try this way. There we go. Now I can twist it and turn it. There you go. Cool. And then if you want, you know, you can leave it like that or put it back into its box. And Sweet. So we've got more that we're going to be opening up. I want to see if I can collect all 12 of them. And stay with us because I want to see if we can actually find the Ultra Gem here. The superpower of five stars to not only get us out of the galaxy, but to get us into another universe. Or at least have the coolest weapon that's the most powerful weapon. That'd be super cool. So now that we know what's in the blue alien, let's go for green or orange. Your pick. Okay, let's do the green. I agree. Cool. There's green boy. <laughs> Let's just pull him out of there and you get a better look at him. He is so cool looking. I mean, look at that. He's got the space helmet there, like, you know, early astronauts that had way back when. I mean, they got that cool little reflection. So you can't see his eyes, can't tell him what he's thinking, but in his teeth, boy, he doesn't have many choppers. And then if you look at the side, he's got holes, air holes coming out. That's where the ooze comes out. So that's gonna be fun to look at. So let's go ahead and cut him open. If you actually pull back as you're sawing, it goes so much faster. So, wow. All right. Who's in our green dude? Who do we get? And then we'll take his head off. When you take his head off, you can just pull the, you know, instead of tearing off the tab like I did, just take the whole thing off. And <sighs> Green is so cool. It's like a olive green from the 70s. Yay! He's a disco dude. Waka, 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 waka. Actually, he's got his disco ball face. I mean, it's black. He's got one little eye there that goes around. Kind of like back in the Atari games with the ping pong eye. Bing, bing, bing. So all I have to do is pinch where these are little divots here and tear. And if it doesn't work, then pinch again. Oh, cool. There we go. Pinch and tear. Okay, first things first. Let's find out who we got. 
I see some blue. No, no. Okay, yeah, blue hair. Uh, green body. Let's see who we got. Oh no. I got a new, another super rare. Boom! <laughs> and look, he's got his little sucker there. One little sucker. Uh, well, hold on, let's bring it up. So we have one little sucker here. Let's see if this works, if it's wet enough. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Whoa. He did not give. I gave him a good karate chop, a gujitsu. Oh, that really sucks. I mean, look at that. <laughs> that is cool. Look at him. He's a cool looking dude. I like his mop. And he's got an X on his forehead for uh, Treasure X, I guess. Uh, that's one cool looking dude for our second super rare. So how many super rares can you get? So there's only three super rares. We got two of the three so far and he is Dr. Slop. Oh, and look at his sword. Oh man, that's one bad boy. That is cool looking. Okay, now on his sword, where do you put the power up tool? You see that little divot right there? You stick it right there. I'm hoping it's a gem. He'll get full five power so he can really slice through whatever with that kind of power. Okay, oh, we got a critter. Don't forget the critter. Did we get critter? Oh, we got a different critter this time. So this one looks like critter number three. Let's see if he's like critter number one. Oh, he does. He likes to, that's so cool. Just throw that against the window. You could have races down him. Who's gonna go faster? Now we're going for the treasure. Hoping we get the super duper pooper rare gem. Let's tear it open. Oh, I got something that's just as close. The next best thing. I got our payload power. Super cool, look at that bullet. Oh, and look, whoever was the painter dribbled. <laughs> got some purple hair. I'm okay, it still has power. That's awesome. So what you do is you take a sword and you take that little part that will fit into that little hole of the sword to power up the sword. Oh man, look at that. So his sword, I mean, it looks like a rocket. So if he's holding it, he could just point at you and blast you. <laughs> look at that. Doesn't it look like it take off? It's a mini spaceship. So he's got a total power score of four. So if these guys were having a fight and you said, okay, let's see who can win. And you don't tell them who you brought to the table. And you're like, I got him. He's got a power of four. You bring him. You're gonna lose because he's got a power with the blowtorch of two. So that's really super cool. Man, one right after another. And that was from the green guy. Now we gotta do our green thing. That's like an x-ray. What's inside of him? Nothing. We cleaned him out. Good. Now let's hurry and do this. Let's put it in to see what it looks like when we charge up the ooze. Wow, that's a lot of ooze in that one. Either that or he has a smaller head. Okay. Wow, that, that black uh, part of his helmet, it, you can't see it. The light doesn't shine through it. It's nice black paint. Okay, guys, you see this wasn't working very well because that black mask that he has on the front of his head here, it just, I can't shine it through and so it's not getting powered up. So I got to like charge it as fast as I can before I put it in there. Okay, let's see if we can do this fast. Ready, guys? Uh, three, two, one. Oh, we gotta hurry and put it in his head. Go, 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 go. Oh, wow, there's lots of holes. Should we charge him up real fast? See, look at that, guys. It's coming out of those little holes all over his body. Okay. Eee! <laughs> that is so cool looking. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> now that's quite the ooze. That is cool. I mean, just look at that, guys. Oh, wow. I'll try to squish him some more. I think we oozed him out. Super cool. Container, ooze. If it doesn't slide in on one side, then you may want to turn it around and see if it worked the other way better. And it does. Okay, there we go. It's like a little spaceship. Yeah, come in and hook him up. That was the green guy. Totally cool. Next one, the orange, the last of the colors in the season three. So let's do this. There we go. Okay. <laughs> he, 
The colors are great. They're just amazing. The green looks awesome. And look, he's just slobbering. He can't keep the meal inside of him. And he's got four arms. Oh, he's got a lumpy head. We'll call him Lumpy. He likes me. Okay, let's go ahead and cut him open. Totally cool. I love the orange. Awesome. Pull a little bit back with your hand and then go at an angle. Oh, it goes so much faster. Look at that. Surgeon. Five seconds, maybe less. Did you time me? I'll have to play the video back. <laughs> but man, I'm the ultimate alien surgeon. Okay, here we go. Pull that out. We'll have to, I'll just see how fast I can do the next surgery. Man, they'll hire me. Oh, wow. Hmm. <laughs> well, this is interesting. But it, it's not another ultra rare. It's one of those mech mechanics. Okay, ooh. He's a cool looking mech mechanic. This one guy is, let me take a look at him. It's Bad Dog. Oh, he's so bad. Look at that, that's cool. Let's find his weapon, see what it's, what's happening. Oh, okay. There's his weapon. Now, the cool thing about this weapon right here, you see the hole, it's on this side and on that side. So he gets a two first, so he could do double powers. He could take both their powers and add it to his. So you never want to go to battle against a mech guy who can power double the power. Cause if he got the, if he got the, uh, the ultra rare gem, which is a level five, he got two of those on here. Nobody could defeat him. Cause he's got a power level of 10 combined. So these guys that are singly going up against me, just blast them. So cool. But let's see if we did get the power. Oh, we got our critter. And do we get a different critter this time? I think we might've critter number two. Yeah, I think we did. So here's critter number two. Yay! Critter Wars. Go, 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 go. Yay! Oh, he just stopped. He's taking a snooze. <laughs> They're both snoozing. Cool. Okay, so what we have left is just what's inside of here. Let's tear it and see. Okay, we got a taser weapon. Taser Talon. So that can... Okay, let's get rid of the use. So it can go on either side, right? It can go on this side. Like that or it can go on the other side, or if you have two, you can double power them up because the taser level has a power three, add another one, you're power six. You blow anybody away, even those who have the ultimate gem because the gem only goes to power five. You have two of these, you override the gem, and then in your gem wars, you can take his gem because you defeat him. So there you go, right now, these guys, um, the taser would take out this guy's power the torch, um, but he would take out all of them. But if he combined and teamed up with him, kind of like Power Rangers, go combine the weapons, get them together. And he took this out, the blowtorch, and he put it on this side. What power, quick, do the math. What power level would he have? There we go. <laughs> now that's one cool looking battle gun. So now he's got the power level three plus the torch, which is a two, that's a five. It takes away his four, overrides it. He's gone. We have a new winner. Okay, guys, here we go. We gotta take the ooze, take off his head. We gotta stuff it in his head. Let's charge it up. Oh, let's do this. Okay, so let's charge it up and let's stick it in his head and try to keep it charged as much as we can while we're pushing it into his head. We'll charge it as we can here and we'll charge it up here and then we'll shut it and then we'll see. Oh, I didn't know his teeth went back that far. <laughs> wow, he's got a grin that just doesn't stop. It goes all the way to the back of his head. Look at that. So cool. Okay, look at that ooze, how it just comes out. That's awesome. Oh. So what we're gonna do now, guys, that we open up one of each color, just gonna tear through them all, gonna see if I can collect all 12 of them, including the... Uh, ultra rare gem and we'll just hopefully have the whole collection we'll do it right now oh the blues are awesome okay what do we have here oh yeah red? it's red it's our first red dude <laughs> who is he and these guys actually squirt water water squirts so we're gonna have to get some little water yeah it's zagard and he sucks up water well let me get him out but that's cool that they actually specialize because they couldn't have the ooze in that little part that sprays the water because then it wouldn't work. So they have to actually bag this. That makes sense. So this guy is a rare and he's an acid knot. Oh, I got acid snot. <laughs> okay, we'll put him over here. Here, look, 
there's his head and look at that that's cool that's where you put it in the water squeeze it and squirt oh awesome look at that gun that is cool and it's like well it only has one hole for a power gen oh, let's see what we got for if we got the gem no we didn't but we got the next best thing power payload now this one looks good because it doesn't have any purple stuff on it that's awesome so let's go ahead and arm our gun look at that yeah it looks like a nerf gun oh well here we could put this on his head before we arm him or put his head on his body let's do the squirt thing so we got some water anybody recognize this huh treasure x season three sarcophagus so we'll squeeze his head and suck up the water and see oh <laughs> Woo he's a shooter. Ah, oh, he's got good squirt power. <laughs> Do we get anything on the camera lens? Oh, that's really, whoa, that's pretty powerful. I like him, he's awesome. His name is Zagard and he sucks up water. Super cool, now let's arm him. He's already armed with the water. He's scorching the face like, well, I can't see, then he blasts you. Pew! These guys are not to be toyed with. Awesome. So guys, we're thinking the cool thing about this is, is that, you know, for uh, Halloween, you could put like lights in them. I mean, how cool would that be? And then like, you know, maybe put in this plastic container and have them hanging from the ceiling because there's your hook, you know. Well, you know what? So we got the glow cube that we're gonna go put inside of them and they, we got these from Disneyland, it was fun. You can just push the button and then it doesn't glow. It actually it turns on the light green, red, purple, and we just throw it in his body. And then for his head, because you know, it won't glow up into his head because it's already sealed. It's not transparent. So we got a, <laughs> we broke one of the cubes so we could put a little LED light and we could turn that on, you know, so we'll put it in his head. So let's go ahead and turn off all the lights and then we'll see what it looks like. What do you think, guys? We can have them as a constant green or we can go through flashing colors, either for the head. Let's go ahead and, and turn it and switch it around for the head. Here you go, guys. What do you think? That's totally out of this world. There's your Halloween alien. Okay, now that's the blue one. Let's go ahead and get the other one. So there's our orange alien. Now let's go for the last one, the green dude. Man, that's cool. Hang that up, put some lights in there. Have a bunch of aliens hanging around the house with this. Awesome. Have we seen you before? Didn't you come in for the last surgery? Okay, who we got here? Uh, anybody? The helmet guy. Yeah, we got a helmet guy. He's a policeman. Ride motorcycles. Have helmets. Oh, anybody rides a motorcycle ought to have a helmet on. Okay, so who do we get? A chest pain. Look at him. He looks kind of horrific without his helmet. <laughs> That's why you wear helmets to cover up bad haircuts like that. I mean, look at that helmet. That is cool looking. Look, he's got teeth on his... It's a shirt. So that's pretty cool. You actually put the helmet on. Ah, and he's ready to go. A space helmet. Sweet. I like that. So he's from Face Force and he's chest pain. Well, I can see the pain in his chest. I mean, look at look at those choppers right there. Okay, well, let's get his gun first. He's got a sword. Look at that. That's a cool looking sword. I love that. And how many um, places do you have to put? Oh, the power up treasure here and there. So two places he could put power up. So that makes him on equal footing with some of these other guys that have, or who is it? Bad dog, who's got two places to put his power up tool. <laughs> you hear that? You what is it. that sound? We found our gem! Yes! <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Oh, we found our gem. Oh, we did it, guys! That's a pretty big gem.
that is a pretty big gem. We finally got our power five, the power of five. Yeah! Man, you got that on your weapon? You'll be able to take out anybody. Well, as long as they don't have two places to put two power-ups and override your five, which is the ultimate power source in and of itself, but not combined with other power sources. Not combined with other power sources. Too much power could blow up your weapon. And so we can just stick that at the, well, on this one, you can either stick it at the edge of the sword like that. What well, looks cool. Or you can stick it at the, uh, looks like it's got a placeholder right there. I mean, like that. So we got the jam. Yes. One in 12. <laughs> We're cool. That is so cool. Hey, now you know if you got the gem, just shake each bag. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And if you don't hear anything, that's not good. We got the super rares, the rares, and then we have the mech mechanics. Okay, these are the uh, worm warriors, the acid knots. Um, and then the mech mechanics and the face force. So we still have to get one more in this group, two more in that one, two more in that one, two more, and then we got everything. We got the gem, which is yes, super cool, guys. And then we we'll just gotta finish our collection and we'll be complete. Oh, it's a mech mechanic. I think, yeah, we do. You already have him. Mech mechanic from the same group. I think we got the same dude again. We got the owl dude. We got a worm warrior. He stings slap. There he goes, our sting slap. So guys, just fast forward, we open up a lot of these, and this is cool, just to complete the, hopefully our collection here. So far, we're fast forwarding to another, and I called him um, Mech Mechanic. They look like mechanical, but they're maniacs. And I'm like, okay, Mike and the Mechanics, Mech and the Maniacs. <laughs> he sounds like a rock group. We're the Mech and the Maniacs. So this is who we got. That guy looks cool. And we'll call him Frog Chomp. <laughs> and then you got his uh, weapon here. That's a cool looking weapon. Yay! And on this weapon, he only has one place to put a power. I'll call them power ups or power sources because without the power source, his gun wouldn't work. At least that's what I'm thinking. So he got his power source right here, the blowtorch, and then we can just go ahead and put it in his hand, and there we go. So now we've got, um, well, these are duplicates, so we'll just put him to the side so we can just focus on, uh, not the duplicates, but what we're trying to do is get three in each group. So we have two, and the mech maniacs, and then we got two, and in the super rare worm warriors. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and complete this, because like I said, we opened up, so here's the third and final one for the mech maniacs. This guy's cool. Here, let me take off his gun and show you. Let me introduce him to you. And he is Snapcat. Awesome. And then here's his gun. That's the gun right there. And then he got the lowest power source, this little uh, Cyberzooka. So he only has a power source of one, so, you know, if he shot you, you just tickle and laugh, you know, there's not much to really take you out. And so we'll go ahead and put that in his hand. That completes our set of Mech Maniacs right there. Awesome. Next thing I want to introduce you guys to, now we already have one of the rares, and it was Zigard for the Acid Knots. Well, let me enter. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the next Acid Knot. Now, this guy looks cool. When we opened him up, because I had the boys help me out here, they were as excited. I mean, love his baseball cap, you know. <laughs> it's like he's ready to go to bat against you. He's Gazardo. And so, here we go. Let's take a look at Gazardo. Look at his chin. His chin will squirt you. Should we try the chin thing? Let's do the chin thing. The chin chin cherry. So let's see how this works with the chin. Whoa! <laughs> I got camera mom! And I got her good. Let's do it again. <laughs> oh, she's, she'll turn me off and we'll never see the end of these videos. <laughs> so you see his little grin right there? Yeah, that's cute. I think that's cool. I love the gold outline. The overlay. I like his gold tail, his gold arm. 
I mean, that looks like a dinosaur little back spine. He's got a spine. He'll stand up to you. He'll squirt you. And then, you know, what I can't tell, and let me take a look at this because what in the world is he holding? What is that? I mean, it's a gun, right? Some sort of gun. There's the power up, so that's where it goes. So if we put his taser here, taser talon, and that's what he holds right there. I mean, is he like shooting? Oh yeah, he shoots acid. That's what it is. So this acid, because you got a power level of three, will actually burn through your clothes, but not your shoes. If you powered up to a level four, it would burn through your shoes. <laughs> so, I mean, his body looks like it's melting from acid. You see the droops there? Wow, man. And his, his, his hands deformed, so maybe he's been playing with acid too much. Don't play with acid. So there now we have two of the three. And this completes our rares. Awesome. Let me go ahead and introduce you to him. That's just shooting out of his mouth. So we'll call him Mouth, the rare acid knot. That's Disgor. Disgor. And he's not melting, he's got a gold chain, he's got his gold boots and stuff, he's got many hands. And well, let's see what happens. Let's give him a squeeze. Okay, let's do it over here, camera two. Whoa! Did I get anything on that? <laughs> I'm in water. Ooh, that's a good shot. I think I got the camera. Maybe I didn't, we'll see. So, cool. And it's fun, because if you can squirt right into the water. Oh, listen to that. And look at his weapon. That's cool, because you can put two power sources on that. So with his wimpy little power one, if he can, when he combines it with his, this is a power two, the torch, now he's got a power three equal to that of the taser talon. But if he had two taser talons, that's three each, that's six, that blows the uh, ultimate, or ultimate gem out of the water. There you go. In fact, we need to display this more. That just looks so cool. So let's go ahead and arm him. Now that's power. Okay, so guys, we completed the Mech Maniacs. We completed the Acid Snots. And then we've got our one of our motorcycle cop riders. We need to finish that. We need to get two of those. And then we just need to get one super rare. We got the whole set. Super exciting. Let's do this. Okay, guys, um, let's time in to see how fast I can open and do surgery on the alien to pull the hunter out. Ready, set, go. That was fast. Oh, we got another super rare dude. Oh, the one that we're missing. Nuh-uh. We did, we got the super rare dude sour? with the goatee. Sour suck. Oh, sour go. suck. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I'm like still like in shock, like sour suck. Look at sour suck. He sucks something sour and he's got a Okay, let's see if he really sucks. Okay, here, let's find a phalange or something. Hey, he does. <laughs> let's see if this works, hold on. And let's see if we can get him. Hey, I'm just hanging out with all my friends. <laughs> hey, you sour suck. Stop talking down to me. You know, I can't because I'm down here, so listen to that. That's suck power. That is pure suck power. That's awesome. We completed our super rares, guys. Let's find out what his weapon is, or looks like. That's a cool looking weapon, I really like that. And with them being worm warriors, what do they do when they blast you, create a worm hole? <laughs> a little bit of galactic humor, never mind. Oh, we got a helmet. Different one. We got a different helmet. This is awesome. Oh, what a noodle he's got. So we got Triv, and he's a face force. Look at that, that's, that's a cool, cool weapon. Look at that, what a poker. And let's see, you can only put a, a, a power source on one side. That's a power payload. So you can put that in his, there we go. Okay, so he's got his helmet, it's got a dollar sign, he's all about money. And let's actually take a real look at him there. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Oh, <laughs> now this guy looks like really freaky. He's a true alien. I'd say he's two-faced, but actually he's got one, two, three. <laughs> he's three-faced.
Wow, look at that. He's got eyes at the, so he's looking at you here. And he's looking at you there. Man, this guy's the master of like weird face in this. No, no wonder why he needs a helmet. Yeah, so that's why I with this biker helmet on and that's what it's off. Ah, put it back on, back on. And so you put it back on. And so, you know, the helmet goes all the way around because he's got eyes at the back of his head. That's awesome. So there we go. There's two, two of them now. That's all we need is one more. And we completed the whole thing. And we want Slyle. But remember, Slyle is not like a rare or super rare. So the odds of getting him, I hope are pretty good. We got a super rare again. <laughs> and it's, and it's, what's his name? Sour suck. Oh, we got another gem too with the super rare. You got it. I was sitting here going, you heard it when it fell and it yeah. shook. No way. That's awesome. Oh, wow. It looks kind of big. Probably not as big as the other one. It doesn't look as big as the other one, does it? Oh yeah. Can you see the difference? And the two. Very cool. That one's bigger. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's another rare. And he's our dock slop. Yeah, if you're looking for rare, green is the good choice. We found two of the super, not rares, but super rares. We found two of the super rares in green. So guys, go to the store, buy green, go green. Everybody's going green. We did it. Yes! It's yellow helmet, dude. We finally did. We got Slyle. No gem. Well, what does Slyle come with? This is so cool. Oh, look at that mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> Wouldn't you be happy if you got rescued from inside an alien? You can't help when people are smiling, you just have to smile because it just is so fun to see smiles. <laughs> and there's his helmet. See his helmet? Yeah. Cool. Now let's put his helmet back on. Helmets are easy to take on and off and all you can... Oh, wow. You know, the only thing that shows in his helmet is his smile. You can't even see out of his helmet. I mean, look how easy that is to put on. So flexible and just slide him on. That's cool. Well, let's see what his weapon's like. That is, that's a cool gun. That works. And it's just got one for one power source. Um, and his power source is his, uh, is his cyber Zooka. So guys, thanks for watching. We got everything here. These guys are super cool. These guys uh, suck to things. They stick to things. These guys squirt. It's a great water fight. It's super cool. Maybe bathtub toys. I don't know. That's fun. And you got your mech maniacs and your helmet motorcycle aliens. These are fun. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.